bad, right? No, no, no. It, you know, I'm gonna be in the hopper all night trying to take a shit, but it wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode nine of All Access with Captain America. As always, with my best friend and cohort, Robin. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Cat? Hey, you know, hanging in there. You know, doing the best we can. Right, right, right. Wearing my mask and kicking ass. There you go. What more can you ask for? How's everybody doing? Anything yeah. new? Uh, no. Nothing. Nothing? Well, I would like to bring up something. <clears throat> Tell me. Marco Polo, ready yourselves. You shitwads. The mimes are back. Yeah, it's officially renovated. Um, I think, I think instead and they, of... And they must both be fully vaccinated, I'm I assuming. Think instead of actually paying for security this time, we should, like... We should get your son up there to, to, to watch over them. Oh, well, no, actually, 50, 50, 51 State is, um, I put him in charge of the building. So oh. he's taking care of the rent and the tenants and all that stuff. Oh, so you already know this. Yeah, but the Serbian right. dudes have to stay, because honestly, there's a Batman thing, and there's a bunch of other, you know, right. the Neo you-know-whats are always coming to get me. Right. Jerk-offs. Fruitless. Fruitless efforts. But anyway, I wanted to bring up the news of the week. Marjorie Taylor Greene. Some jackass from the, I don't, some jackass from Texas. She's a senator, or a Congress, something. I don't. Who gives a shit? Yeah, I don't follow. So anyway, well, you want to know what she did this week? Tell me. Shoot. Let's hear it. She compared having to wear a mask in the chamber to Jews getting stars during the Holocaust. So basically, she she basically said that Nancy Pelosi was being like Hitler. Get the hell out of here. Isn't that something else? Isn't it? I mean, dude, where, where is this going? I mean, these people are insane. This is insanity, folks. I know some Jews, and they would not agree with that statement. No, I fought for the Jews, and none of them would agree with that statement. I'm not Jewish, and I don't agree with that statement. No, Amen to that, Reverend. Reverend Robin. Oh, you like that, huh? <laughs> Used to be. Didn't last long. Absolutely. Twice. Marco, Polo, bring up the picture of Marjorie Taylor Greene. Robin, I want to point out something. This is actually breaking news right here. All access. Captain America. Breaking news. Look at this picture of Marjorie Taylor Greene. All right. Do you see an Adam's apple? Wait a second. That is a man in drag. Look at the picture. Well, now that you mention it, it's a little... Dragged out, yeah. Breaking news, folks. All access with Captain America. Marjorie Taylor Greene is a man. Woo. Yep. You couldn't believe it myself when I got the news, but we have our reliable sources. Man. Absolutely. So, anyway. Uh, back? Captain, you can't say stuff like that. We're going to get our episode like flagged. I know we're like all edgy here and original and like cool. We can say whatever you want, but you can't be like fag cigarette. Oh no no no! I don't sm I don't smoke. No thank you. Drink your own. So what do we got next? Oh yes, they did call them that though, right? In your generation. Hey, smoking a fag. You know, well I don't know. That might have been when I was in England training the RAF. Someone offered you that. Yeah, they said you want a fag, and you know, you know what? I looking back, thinking, you know, it's everything's foggy. I think I kind of had the same reaction you had there, because oh. I didn't understand. Yeah, yeah, we're, I thought it was offensive, but yeah, you were in the red light district. That's why. Lesson learned tonight, folks. Just because you're from another part of the world doesn't mean you're saying something bad. Eh, lesson learned. That was incredibly insightful, Robin. You know, not to be pushy, but. I don't know if we can get started without our... Uh... Oh, we got to get started with the new Oshashaka. Oshashaka. I know Why we got a new crate that came in. I'm curious, folks. Bottles Oshashaka of hooked us up this week, guys. What Kevin, what'd they bring us? What'd they bring us? Oh, it's another pink. What do we got? What do we got? Better not be another pink Oh, no. No, this one's actually... Well, same concept, but much less offensive. This one's called Two Days After. What? Why? Why? Well, I guess the color, I don't know. Seems right to me. Oh, Sashaka, what are you doing, man? You used to switch it up. 
No, we should be appreciative. No, okay. Nobody else is sending us crates of anything. You know anything. what's weird about the Oshitaka wines? Uh, for screw top wines, they're pretty good. Nobody else is sending us crates of anything. Okay. Come so on, we'll... get your glass out here, Robin. Party at the Bat Cave. Party at the Bat Cave. Part... Two days later. Two days later. Wait, wait, what are we talking about? I forgot. That's what this stuff's called? Yeah, no, two days after. Two days after. Oh, two days after. Yeah, that's better. That's Not bad. Better. That makes more sense. Not really. Wait. Hold on. It says something here. Hold on. Oh, keep chill to avoid clotting. Be right back. No, I think that means for us. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Because if your blood pressure goes up, you're going to be... Yeah, like blood clots. Blood clots. Yeah, that's right. You got to... Relax, folks! Turn your, um, have a glass of wine. If you don't have any, get an ice bucket and put your feet in. Cheers to episode 9! Episode 9! Mmm. It tastes like episode 8 a little. You know what? It's got a much more bitter type than the last. Ooh, that aftertaste got me now. Boy, they really know how to capture those weird flavors. Just saying. Alright, so, yes. <laughs> well, in an unusual twist this evening, um, I'm being told, Mark, you got, yeah, okay. Osashaka has a, um, a message that they want to share with us. It's a little bit out of, um, they usually get the airtime later on the show, but they're getting it now. So, Marco, Polo, roll the tape. Roll it, Marco. Polo, divert your eyes, Polo. Down the way! Hi, Osaka. I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 ああ、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、
We salute you. So anyway, I'd like to take a moment while Robin's getting his bearings. Yeah, sorry, it takes a minute. I, I get him. I had to write, I gotta, I gotta read what I wrote, because I'm gonna get emotional if I try to just do it off the top of my head. Okay, shoot. Okay, here we go. I'd like to take a moment to pay my respects to the 25,000 Native Americans who served in World War II. In a perfect world, we would have been serving them. Also, to all the racist soldiers of the Army and Armed Forces, go fuck yourselves. All the non-racist soldiers, well, you know the real Americans love you. And I'd also like to say that um, anybody who's uh, one of those Trumpers, let's not forget on Memorial Day the things he said about John McCain. I don't follow. That's all right. We're bringing the realest news. No, he was talking crap on John McCain. John McCain was the senator who got, he was actually captured in Vietnam and held. And then Trump said something like, oh, I like people who haven't been captured. McCain? Isn't that that creepy guy in the Senate? No, well, he's dead now, but yeah, he was. Oh, I, I didn't agree with all his policies, but he was a war hero. Oh, no, I'm thinking of somebody, other creepy guy. And Trump made fun of him. You know why Trump didn't go to Vietnam? He was coughing? No, he said he had bone spurs from playing tennis. I was close. The tennis court's like near the, on the golf, like. Jesus. All I gotta say to Trump is a phrase I've learned throughout the 90s that I love. Who's the bitch now? That's an old game we used to play in Gotham. Well, how does your rolls go? How does your rolls go with that? Well, you actually played a game called Who's the Bitch Now? Alfred's game. I don't want to. Oh, oh. We're not. No. We don't need it. To... That's fine. I don't want to. Hey, solo. Black solo. Guy. Black guy. Hey, to Black silence. Guy. To Black silence. Guy. To silence. Speaking of silence, we can't have dead air here. So what do we got? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to derail us, but it's true. Like, it wasn't fun. It, got a it wasn't awkward. fun living there. And even if you see it there, guys, like, he comes out through the lens. The, the, the lens don't lie, man. Like, there's no hiding those knives. The lens there. doesn't lie. It was big in that mansion, and it was hard to like keep cool or heat, you know. So they would open those big like windows and stuff, and at night, like. He may or may not have come in through those balconies and watched me sleep and, like, done things. I'd like to get a look at his hard drive and not in the physical sense. I want to know why Batman doesn't believe me. He thinks I'm, like, making it up. Or, like, I got time oh, for it, you know? Oh, here's a... Here's maybe, you know, kind of a thought. He's an asshole! You are an asshole, Batman. I tried, buddy. We tried. We went far. I helped you that night. You sprained your ankle. And you got all the credit for that bust. Remember when you the... sprained your ankle, Bruce? Huh? You remember, Bruce. Unreal. So what have you been doing? You watch anything interesting lately? <clears throat> anything good going on? What's been on the telly? John McCain. What? They did a memorial to John McCain? Yeah. Apparently, that's what's going on right now. It's in the feeds. I don't follow, but John McCain's out there. But he's dead! I, don't, I guess it's like one of those like spooky things. Like uh, Maybe it's like... Oh, know, is it like a Tupac hologram? Or I was thinking more like one of those Christmas carols where like a dead guy comes back and haunts another guy that's like corrupt. Oh, like the ghost of Christmas past and present and future! Yeah, yeah. I oh, wow, who do you think... Those, wow. Who there would be think too of, many of them haunting each other. There would be right? too many, yeah. There would be so many guys in line. They'd be too busy arguing amongst themselves to go visit <laughs> the people they were supposed to see. <laughs> to the dead. Fucking pussies. God bless the dead. Uh, some of them. Yeah, not all of them. Some of them can just, you know, hey, fuck them. Some of them can fuck right off. All right, um, what else should we talk about? Well, I was asking you, what did you, have you seen anything on TV? You watch any good movies, anything lately? Oh, yeah, I watch a lot of stuff on TV. I've been just hanging out, you know? There's not much crime going on right now, actually. Everybody's pretty much at home. You said something to me before we started the episode about Peacock? Yeah. Something about so Peacock? Yeah, check it out. It's like, uh, if you like Netflix, you like Peacock. Everybody's a stranger to it. I thought it was stupid at first, too, but I think most things are dumb at first. But then... Oh, this isn't like a yeah, documentary about birds migrating. 
No, no, it's an actual program. It's like Netflix, like uh, Hulu. Oh, it's see, like I was looking on Net Geo when you but told me that. This is where uh, all the good programs went, like The Office, and check it out. It's you get free episodes or everything. It's good stuff. But then you can sign up for the full access. But uh, I watched WrestleMania 36 last night, and uh, wait, didn't they just have WrestleMania 37? I'm a real, uh... What's that? Didn't wasn't it WrestleMania 37 that just happened? Well, I told you about WrestleMania 35 in the last episode, and then last night I watched WrestleMania 36. And yeah, WrestleMania 37 is what happened um, most recently. I didn't watch that one yet. Oh, so you watched WrestleMania 36, and that's the one when Hulk came back? No, that was 35. 35 Hulk came back? Yeah. 36 so what did he do? Was, did he, like, uh, leg drop somebody and get a hernia? <laughs> basically. <laughs> Fucking but, old timers need to just sit at home. Hey, he's got like six back surgeries. The Hulkster's well, out. he been frozen. Yeah, he's got like batteries in his back. But thir- um, 36 was like uh, the basically the lockdown WrestleMania. It was like the first. Oh, did they have the cardboard? They had uh, yeah, in the it was, seats. It was like the televisions in the seats. Oh god, that's what I love about filming in the studio here. We you know we don't have any cardboard yeah, we cutouts. Don't have any you creepy know? cutouts of like Marco uh, and Polo act like a couple of fucking cardboard cutouts. Yeah, there's no like Jamie Foxx or actually he'd be cool. Jimmy Fox would be cool. Jimmy Fox! There's no Kevin on the show. cutouts or, like, you know, Carson Daly cutouts in here. Uh, everything I'm making fun of, I feel like I would want to cut out of them. It'd be fun. It's hard to make fun of cutouts for me. I could we could we take the cutouts home after the show and do things to them? Yeah, you can actually. I was thinking of putting them on model trains, like, in Home Alone. and having Run them to their like, mouth! Yeah. Having them <laughs> <going, having going laughs> with the lights on, and I could, like, run around, you know? <laughs> Like, there's a lot of people home. But Can I come over and play? I used to do that in the mansion. Yeah, I used to pretend we had parties when we didn't. And just to... Just to delude yourself, basically. I guess. It was a form right. of... Uh, it was a rich hobby. Well, it's a form of flattery. Yeah, something. It's Wait, something. no, flattery is the wrong word. It's derangement is what it is. Derangement! Thank you! It's derangement. Derangement. It's derangement. It's derangement. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do about the mimes, man. Yeah, they're, they're up there doing their thing. I don't know. They're working on fucking tap dancing or some shit. Seems like mimes are always tap dancing. But I'll tell you what. I wanted to get Mark and Paul. Marco, pull that picture up. See this guy? Polo, you can look at this one, too. Look up. See this guy right here? That's Billy O'Driscoll. Ooh. You know who Billy O'Driscoll was? <laughs> He was a friend of mine back in the war when we were, we were invading, I think it was Iwo Jima. Hmm. Back then, we were invading Iwo Jima. I saw this guy run up a tank, open it up, and took a dump inside, right on top of those guys. What? Right on top of those Japanese guys in Get their little out. tank. Yes, I'm not, I'm not kidding you. And then you know what he did? What did he do? He cracked open a bottle of moonshine, took a huge swig, and then dropped it in there with his Zippo. Whoa. I'll tell you, the guys that had a sense of humor were the real badasses, I'll tell you. Yeah, classy. Want to hear about another buddy of mine? Sure, go ahead. Funny story. Marco, pull this up. All right, see this guy? Pull it, look at this one. This is Randy Newanowski. He was from, I think, uh, Massachusetts. Old Randy. So, yeah, old Randy. <laughs> what he would do is he was really into the whole um, the, the Japanese culture. And right. the kung fu and everything like that. He right. would try to blend into the environment and the trees and stuff around him. Okay. But he wouldn't use it against them. He would do it to fuck with us in the middle of the night. Wow. Yeah, he was a little... He was a funny guy, that Randy. Randy Numanowski. Huh. It's a funny guy. Happy Memorial Day, Randy. Happy Memorial Day, Randy. Speaking of people acting crazy. What else we got for him, Robin? Huh. So... Basically, in WrestleMania 36. Hmm. Sorry, I went off on a little tangent. Mac- McIntyre beat uh, Lesnar. Yeah, he uh, McIntyre beat Lesnar in WrestleMania 36. Mac- so wait, wait. Brock Lesnar? Yeah, the big guy. The real big guy. He got conquered by this Scottish guy. Really? Like, the like guy who comes out with his little, you know, he has a kilt and a whole like... I'm gonna get you. See, like, I don't oh. watch the wrestling as much as I should, because this sounds quite entertaining. It went full circle. I think it was like one of those like horror movie series that are so bad. They made so many bad ones that eventually got good again. It, like it, right. It went like full circle. It was like it came back around again. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hit him in the that'll ass. Happen. Yeah, that'll happen. But I'll Good admit to it. It did take a while to come around, so I don't blame people. It's fine. People are messed up. People are scary. Yeah, that's really what are. That's what you frighten me, folks. So we gotta show them the guns, Cap. Don't gotta show them, they're always there, baby! People are fucked up. Alcohol can fuck you up, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you ain't kidding, buddy. Got any good you drinking ain't... stories, Cap? Drinking stories? Huh! One time, I got whacked on a case of whiskey. And this was real old moonshine in Tennessee whiskey. I mean guys driving a 34 hot rod from the cops whiskey. Oh, shit. Damn. So I whacked out a case, right? Trying to be a show off and everything like that, right? Mm -hmm. I jump into the river. Okay. Freaking cold. Oh my God, cold, right? I woke up two days later in Miami. What? And I was bone dry. Explain that one to me. It's a freeze. It had to be some superhero thing. It could have been freeze. It could have been. Because all I know is I, I whacked out a case of Tennessee whiskey. Tennessee right. moon running whiskey. Uh-huh. Jumped in the river, woke up bone dry in Miami. It makes no sense. It's a good drinking story, though. But it makes no sense. Yeah, I kind of want to know how I got there and how I was dry. You don't know? No, I, I drank river Miami. <sighs> Not another fucking mystery. I hate riddles. There's too many mysteries. We need some answers. We need someone who can answer. All right. Here's a drinking story with an ending. Because alcohol can fuck you up. Okay. All right? I was boxing. And I think it was... Oh, God. I think it was Singapore at the time. I was training some of the, the troops over there. Had a box. You know, just American boxing. You know, not that, you know, weird boxing. American boxing. Yeah. So I'm teaching this guy out of the box. And I nail him. You know, he's a little, little Singapore guy. And I kind of felt bad. I just, you know... Instinct took over and I hooked him. He gave it to him, yeah. So I hooked him, and then he challenges me to a drinking contest. Oh, shit. Right? Yeah. So he gets out this bottle of God knows what it was. Probably something that was made by Osashaka. Mm. Some spice. Some spice, something or another. Chianti. So we start shooting back and forth. Hit me. Shooting. 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 So he's starting to wobble. He's starting to wobble. He's a hundred and... He's a hundred pounds wet. You know what I mean? Soaking wet. And I'm 200 pounds, solid muscle, baby. Solid muscle. And that was back then. Now I'm, you know, pushing 250. Dry, dry. Dry. Yeah. So anyway, we're drinking, drinking, drinking. He starts to get a little wobbly, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, he whips out a machete. Whoa. He tried to cut my head off. Humpty Dumpty with a freaking machete. He tried to cut my head off. And you know what I did? What? Promoted him. To what? Colonel or something. <laughs> What? You made Humpty Dumpty with the machete the colonel? Well, yeah, he had balls! Did the regime, did your troops, and, like, did you guys do well? I heard that, that regiment kicked pretty good ass. Like I said, I was just there to train. Right. But he stood up to me. He, he came right at me with a machete, dead drunk, and almost got me. You know, I leaned back, and he did one of those. And I said, you passed the test there, Ming. That's good. That's how you build some relationships. That's how you build a strong resistance. Yeah. Train, 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 train. Like I said, I'm not going to say I don't support the police, but there's a lot of fat cops. Well, we had a monkey like that. Not to go back to my monkey stories, but... What, well, like, was he... No, no, these fascinate me. These absolutely fascinate me. Was he skinny wait, or was he... Uh, wait, wait, was skinny? Wait, very, Tell me the story. Tell very me the story. heavy monkey. Very... Are you mocking me again? All right, note to self, I'm not allowed to just rest my chin on the table when I'm trying to hear your story. I'm sorry, I have, uh, I have issues. You are so sensitive! It's just because of the light. I, I need, and the sound. You're too used to being in the bat thing with all the shades shut. Why was, why is everything so fucking weird with you? It was a many years that I spent in that mansion, by the way. And if it wasn't for Alfred, I wouldn't have so many problems, man. You can't. You didn't All right. have, you didn't live with Alfred in the mansion, man. The mansion was haunted. And whoa, Alfred whoa, 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 whoa. I witnessed the Holocaust. So back it up. It might have been 
Well, what's that's the debate, folks. Leave it in the comments. What's worse, the Holocaust or what happened to me in the mansion with Alfred? Dare I say equal? No. They're pretty horrific. That's Both instances are pretty horrific. Like Alfred's pretty horrific. That's not comparing. Uh, I don't want to compare that. I take that back, folks. Don't even. That's not comparable. Yeah, you sound like Marjorie Taylor Greene. But what happened to me <laughs> was horrible because that could it was. that did happen in the Holocaust as well. So I lose. But I'm just saying. True. Hey, speaking of that, see my radio, the one from last episode. Yeah. Notice anything about it? No. I finally remembered where it came from. Where? This is from Germany. Get Look, yeah, it only has two channels: sports and Hitler. For some reason, I don't know why, it still picks up those feeds. I don't Wait, know. what do you mean? It gets Sports and Hitler, Sports and Hitler are the only two channels I can get on this thing. I stole it when we were on a raid in, um, somewhere outside the Black Forest. It's the Ben Maller Show. Boom, boom, it's Ben Maller. What is this? Ben Maller! Sports! A no-hitter problem. These See, it's the Sports Channel. Turn this shit off our program. Okay, wait, wait, here, wait, wait, see, look, it gets, it gets sports and... Sports? I told you! What the hell? Here, here, I'll try to tune it in better. How did you get... There! Whoa. You hear that? Is this a joke, Cap? No, I don't know if it's like programmed into this thing, which would be nearly impossible in the 40s, or if some assholes out there broadcast this stuff still, in which I will find you and kick your teeth in. Is this some kind of joke, Cap? No, here, let's turn it off. Nobody wants to hear that on Memorial Day. Nobody wants to hear that on Memorial Day. Let's turn that off. Is this some kind of joke, Cap? I turned it off! How what? is Hitler coming through the the? You got this in Germany on a raid. Yeah, I got it in Germany on a raid. It's probably something they just had, you know, like the old music things. It's probably just a real turning in there that says it. You know, I got a couple like uh, old boots and stuff I got on some uh, adventures of mine, but nothing like that. That's pretty uh, historic. This might belong in a museum. No, no, after hearing that, I kind of want to destroy it. It belongs in a museum. I think it belongs to be smashed and buried. Belongs in a museum. I'm a realist. I just like Harrison Ford, so I keep saying that. Alright. Harrison Ford is great. Uh, <laughs> I love coffee. That's the next topic. Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Fear. Do you think uh, do you think Harrison Oh I think the mines were But they're doing a shuffle. No, they have those things that they put, you put on your feet, and it, they're like the the monster feet with the little claws. Oh, like and gorilla I, slippers. Yeah, and they've been running on the floor. At first, I thought it was animals, but it's their it's their gorilla feet. Speaking of gorilla and they're feet, they're doing like some weird like uh like um, boogie shuffle train thing that's like marching around. It comes and the train will come around again. I, I timed it. Speaking of gorilla feet, you kind of go off the subject of uh, how would you like me to listen to your monkey story? Which one? When you yelled at me for doing this. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I forgot. I get lost in the madness. How would you like me to sit, sir? Now I'm mocking you. <laughs> sorry, I got lost in the madness. You forget. That's all right. We but can just move on. Basically, we had this heavy monkey. And he was, uh, he was a problem because he was eating most of the stock. And, like, the other animals didn't have anything. So, we decided to just, you know what, this monkey, he's got to he's gotta go away. Because he was eating all the food for the other animals. And he was... Is there like a monkey orphanage? No, he was just really big and we set him free. But the problem oh. was, we set him free. And like a week later, he came back as like an attendant. Are we talking about a young Kong? Well, he came back as, like, an attendee with, like, this hat on and this, like, weird shirt, like, as pretending Whoa. to be human to watch us. And it was, like... He was, like, a monkey spy! Yeah, and even that night, he just kept eating all the popcorn at the dispenser, at the... At the Double thing, O Harambe! At the, the popcorn stand, he just kept eating it all. And then, eventually, the popcorn guy freaked out, like he always did. Well, yeah, he was. He, yeah, but you told me he just kind of like dropped on a dime. Like he was like, "Hey, hey, hey, you want some popcorn?" And this time especially because the like, nah. monkey disguised as a human, like really 
It, it freaked them out. Did it freak a lot of people out or just him? Mostly him. You're at a circus. They thought it was a part of it. They thought it was funny, like, that we planned it. More Reno, but, senor. Continue the story. Yeah. And basically, we, we got halfway through the night, and it was fine. This monkey was just eating popcorn on the sidelines until it got our irate, man. It ran out of popcorn. So he was really blending with the crowd there. Yeah, until we ran out of popcorn, and then it became, like, if this monkey didn't, like, break something. Cheers! Thank you. Yeah, cheers. If this monkey didn't break something or, like, have sex with something, it was gonna, like, it was... Was really... he using the popcorn? <laughs> No, he used, um, the elephant. And it became a viral video in, like, like, I think, like, five countries. Not America, but, like, this gorilla. Yeah, I think I would have remembered that one. Our elephant was never the same. And it's a shame, because I, I was good friends with him. Well, elephants have that memory, right? So when he saw this, they he never forgot everything. it. Yeah, they remember everything. You never forgot that gorilla with the popcorn and... You could show an elephant a peanut now and it would remember the same peanut like 30 years from now and be like, yo, that's a fucking peanut. You right, he could find the shell and be like, I had that peanut once. Yep, yeah. Elephants, Elephants are, cool. are cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gotcha. We owe Jinx. each other. Uh, here, you owe me. You don't owe me nothing, Cap. Yep. Thanks for letting me come here, Cap. Anytime, anywhere, baby. You and me. That's right. You and me. And I'm thinking about maybe inviting Joker. Yeah, that's right. He's not a bad guy. You just gotta look. He's not, you know, you, I, don't he's judge, just misunderstood. Don't judge a book by its cover. You know? You know? No. Well, speaking of books, there's a lot of books about legends. Which is a good segue to our new segment. What does the captain think? About what? I had to flip my page over here. I got some, uh, some, uh, some notes in the back here. Uh, let's see. What does the captain think of nachos? Oh, I love them! I love them! You know, you there's a, you can take the block from the store and just right. grate it onto a bowl of nachos and pop it in the microwave for a minute. Like the Velveeta just, block. For like, no, like any kind of shredded, like the mozzarella or whatever you want. Oh. And pop it in the microwave. When you were frozen, we had like these Velveeta blocks that you could take a roller and like roll it on and you'd get these slices. Whoa! It's pretty cool. I'm going to get you one. I'll get you one. You do that for me? I would. I'd do anything for you. What does the captain think of pterodactyls? Did they talk a lot about dinosaurs in your day? Or that wasn't really a... Wasn't really a thing. Like, you know, every once in a while in history class, they would bring it up. Yeah. I think I saw a pterodactyl once. In your day. Yeah, back in the 40s. I saw it in, um... Oh, God, where was it? Must be when they injected you with that crap. Hawaii! It was in Hawaii. I saw a pterodactyl. Yep. The winged beast. What'd you do? Call me a liar. What'd I do? You're a liar. What'd, what'd you do? I kept swimming. It was flying, though. Well, what was I gonna do? It was a big bird. Did you go down? No, I was just swimming. I looked up and... Uh, well, that's a big dinosaur. And then I just kept swimming. They would be off that coast, you know, even now. They just vacation. Well, I knew. They think it's like part of the tour or something. What does the captain think of submarines? Submarines! Yeah, what do you think of submarines? I know they had them around when you were going. Interesting! Before you're frozen. I know they had that stuff. I think they'd be very useful. At this point, you know, they'd be very useful in science. To, you know, explore. Because, you know... We're all worried about going to space and shit, which I don't understand. We don't even know what's in the ocean. Right, we're going up. We should be going down. There could be cures for so many diseases and things just in there. Just in the plant life somewhere. Right. And we're going to space where we know for a fact that there's nothing. Yeah, I think the Kraken's down there. Well, I mean, in space, scary. there's definitely other planets and aliens and stuff. I totally believe in that. But just when you leave the atmosphere and you go into space. Wow. Boring. I think the Kraken's down there, and if it's not somewhere else... The Kraken there. exists! Yeah, it's down there. It's down there. Oh, yeah. What does the captain think of Sigourney Weaver? Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver? I don't care. You're like a fine wine, honey. I don't care how much you age. You're always going to be the best. Well, that's a good... Re oh, I think that is... I mean, come on! We got... Aliens! 
Galaxy Quest. I mean, the list goes on and on. Well, that's my other one. What does the captain think of aliens? I always ask you that because I keep trying to get it out of you. Aliens? You're not giving me straight For answers. real or? Aliens, yeah. What do you think of aliens? Well, they're good, but the U.S. government actually just released it, so now I can talk about it. Yeah, the Pentagon has a lot of these footages. Yes, just out there are that. aliens. It is no coincidence that right after the Roswell crash, we had microwaves. That's all yeah. I'm going to say. Marco, roll one now. Yeah, this guy. Look at this thing. Woo. Okay. I've seen that. I've seen those. Yeah, when? You used to fly a lot. I know. All right, watch this one. Ooh. God. Creepy. That's creepy. Okay, I didn't see that. I don't care who you are. That's creepy. That's some creepy stuff. Nobody wants to see that. Okay, one more, Marco. One more. Pull a diver your eyes for these. You might get spooked. Down and away, fuckface. Ooh. Man. See? What do you think of that, Cap? You, you, do you believe in aliens? I'm processing. I'm processing. That's your own... That's your own government's footage telling, showing you that stuff from your own guys. Like, those are your own boys. Like, they, all right, I'll say it here. From some core. Breaking like, news. Here it comes. Yeah, they're real. If you look up at the sky at night and think you're alone in the universe, you're a dipshit. Yeah, it's true. I've done it. And it's I, that simple. I've been a dipshit at night. It has nothing to do with technology. People have known that there's aliens since the birth of man. You look up in the sky and you're like, oh, I'm tiny. If you're a realist. If you're a realist. I was just thinking of being a dipshit. No, you're right. Yeah, you can't think that we're the only ones out there. All those burning stars of suns of galaxies. Seriously. There's a lot of solar systems out there. And if we're the most intelligent species on the planet, <clears throat> or in the universe, I think we should all close our eyes and run across the highway. Which highway? Like a very busy highway, like. Like Los Angeles, yeah, like the flower. Yeah, yeah. The big flower. Yeah, at the right time. Yeah, everybody. Just close your eyes and run back and forth. You gotta do it right. Because I do not want to be... If human beings are the smartest thing in the universe, the universe is in trouble. Yeah. And not just the Marvel Universe. I'd leave it up to the animals. They know a lot. They're cool. Animals are really cool. You ever notice how, like, when a storm's coming, all of a sudden everything stops, and like, you're, you just know. If you listen, you know. And then people are like, oh my god, I'm, I'm getting rained on. I've seen even workers do that. They stop. And they, like... I right, they know. They listen to the birds. Yeah, everything. Everything Birds stops. can tell you so much with the birds. Right. They're like elephants. Uh, what's next on the list, Captain? We got, uh, Legends Never Die, folks. Legends Never Die. One of my sad but favorite segments. It is sad but true. Sad but true! Who was that? Legends Never Die. It was Malinka, right? Malinka? Malinka. <laughs> That's what I say. Malinka, you sad but true. It was a heavy metal song. Legend never, sad but true. Yeah, Malinka. Malinka, yeah, Malinka. got it. Got it. The one with the bitchy ass singer. So who do we got on the list tonight, Robin, unfortunately? Uh, well... One of, one of my favorites. Uh, Check my notes. Charles Grodin. No! Yeah, Charles Grodin. Oh, come on! He's definitely on the Legends, but I didn't want him to be on, obviously, anyone to be on this, but... No, especially not Grodin! He was in one of my favorite movies, Beethoven. Remember that movie? With, with the, the St. Bernard with the dog! Yeah, it was a great that movie. That was good stuff! That was a good movie. That was great, good, old-fashioned family fun! Yeah, I like that movie. What else did he do? Um... Uh, what else did he do? Well, let me check my notes. Well, I, well, oh, don't, well, I know the one that he did. Let's see, he's also, he's the Charles Grodin, known for Sex and the College Girl. The Trials of O'Brien. Okay. Is that like an Irish flick? Mm. The Guns of Will Sonnet. Never saw that. Ooh, I, oh, well, and my personal favorite, My Mother the Car. I can't make this up. I saw the movie. It was good. Oh, I'm not. I'm not pretending it's not. I just. I never saw that. I, I, I didn't know. You should look it up. I'll look it up. Yeah. All right. Who else we got uh, on the list here? Uh, we got oh uh, that kid from School of Rock who got hit on his butt. That's not funny. That's not funny. No, that's that's not, not funny. That's not. Funny. Who else have we got? Uh, Samuel E. Wright. That's sad. You know. You know. Nope. 
Who's that? Sebastian from The Little Mermaid! Oh my god, really? Yep! I love the Sebastian. Yep! And here's a fun Under fact! Under the sea. Under the sea, we work all day! Captain America, subscribe today! Hey, yo! Seriously! Hit the like and subscribe button, ring that bell! And check fucker. out check out Sebastian too. And check out Sebastian, yeah, Samuel Samuel uh, E. Wright. Yeah. Check him out. Uh, Fun fact! He was also the original Mufasa when Lion King came out in the in the plays. Before it was a movie. Really? Yep, he played he played Mufasa. He was just in with Disney. He must have had a nice hotel and everything in He that. probably did have a nice hotel. Yeah, it'd be cool now. Dude was cool. That's cool. Also, it's not what just... you know, it's who you know. Oh. That's what my dad used to say. Paul Mooney! Paul Mooney passed! Paul Mooney? Paul Mooney, what? great civil rights champion, and but also one of the best comedy writers that has ever lived. Yeah. He wrote for Pryor! Wow. I mean, we're talking legends here, folks. Legends! Look yeah, up Paul Mooney. If you don't know who he is, legendary. you're kind of a douche. <clears throat> I'm a douche. Then we got, uh, oh! One of the original members of the Mickey Mouse Club. <gasps> That's not funny. That's not That's funny. So funny. That's not funny. He was probably touched. But I wonder if they sing That's that. sensitive that, subject. Sorry. I wonder if they sing that song though, like, like during to tribute him. You know, like at his. I hope not. I don't want to hear that when I'm. You know what I mean? No one does. But I, wonder, I don't want to hear I the theme song to this in my funeral. Saying, like it ends up rolling. You know, somebody gets in there. You're gonna play Tupac just, when I die. Saying, Tupac. Tupac. Rolling when you die. Yep. Changes. One of the best songs ever written. Okay. Then what do we got? Then? Oh. Oh no. Olympia Dukakis. Oh no. Oh no. Really? Was it? No. Marco. That's going to be a typo. The bride nope. from Look Who's Talking. She's in like all of them. I know, right? She was amazing. Yeah. She was awesome. amazing. And you. Don't give me shit. Three dates. Bullshit. Love you, Olympia. Bullshit. Miss you. You're messing with me. I'm not messing with you. We went on three dates. This was actually... How? You were frozen. They were thawed me out and froze me off and on all the time. For what? She was like... you were. It was in the 60s. I forget. It was... No, it was summer. What's weird is the Kennedy Space Center is by a lot of those studio grounds, which I could kind of believe that she worked around and you were near... But for them to unfreeze you and you to show up. Well, I was and doing stuff us. and I, we locked eyes. How do you meet this. people when you're like frozen and from another time and getting along with them? Everybody knows this logo. No matter where you're from. I go back to the 1800s and they'd say, he looks like a captain of America. They'd say that. Yeah. I'm timeless, baby. And they say, I look like a fucking Robin that waits on you. What's what? Do you, what would you? How would you like your order? I would like you to be my mole. How would you like your hamburger, sir? Is what people have been asking me. Media Are there rare. that dress like this? Is there like a chain of restaurants where they're? Oh, well, there's a like bunch this? of fucked up chains of restaurants. Don't get me started. There's one called Futterruckers, for God's sakes. Yeah, and I had the wrong impression in there. I thought there was something else going on. In I there. thought that was gonna be fun. That wasn't fun. No, it wasn't fun for me. That was a scary trip that we yeah, took. Yeah, there was even crates like around where you yeah. eat. Don't go in any ball pits anywhere, folks. It's yeah, just not know, sanitary. You don't know what's in there. It's not sanitary anymore. Gross stuff. So anyway, we're going to go back to Olympia Dukakis. Known for movies such as The Doctors and the Nurses. We also got Nikki's World. The Andros Targets. That was a good one. That was a good one. I think that was an overseas release. Check that one out. And my personal favorite, of course, of course it is, the General Motors Playwrights Theater. Wow. General Motors. General Motors. General Motors. General Motors. So I guess that's it for Legends Never Die. Watch this episode a million times. And make sure that they live forever. Speaking of people living forever. What do we got? Ever, what do we got? Did you ever hear from Liu Le or Liu and... Sore subject! What about the ladies, our old ladies that used to harass us and try to... At one point we, we thought... Tell you, I got Osashaka money tied up in globally trying to track and find Liu and Batman. 
I honestly have no... It's ridiculous! I have no, like, uh, things happening to me now. At one point, we were being, like, my car's getting smashed in, and my bikes were getting messed up, and now nothing's going on. It's been quiet. Well, uh, that's oh! Why I'm asking, like, what's the, going there on? There was Polo had actually inserted something, uh, earlier. And you didn't tell me, Polo. Yeah, he didn't get a copy? Fucking... Just copy and shove up your ass! And don't feel bad for him, folks. Polo just collects. He doesn't oh, work on anything here. I threw your copy at him. Can I read this one? Oh, yeah. Sure. Polo, can you print me another one of them? Great. This is illegible! Now? Uh oh, no. Okay, forget it. That's what I'm saying, folks. So don't feel bad for Polo. He doesn't do anything. He just collects his money. What were we yeah. talking about? That's what he does. That's what he does. That's what he does. That's why he doesn't belong here. He just derails You're horrible. conversation. He's gonna. What happens when we bring Your in our guests? Your brother told you to hit a button. That's it. When we bring in our guests, it's gonna be a problem. You know that, right? It is gonna be a He's big problem. He's gonna have to be outside. Where's the copy? Get the copy. You're not gonna be here when we bring people in. And when Kevin comes, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. You're definitely not coming when Kevin's here. Got it? Here, take that shit. Give me this one. All right. Got it. Breaking news, folks! Emily Mabelson and Bucky's mom, their trials have both been postponed due to the pandemic and all the things being backed up. So, of course, we may not, I don't know if they're separated or what's going on. They're apparently not making any phone calls and there's been no communications from the prison. And yeah, they just said sometime next year. Wow. So, we might not hear from them for a little while. Man. Well, that's, I gotta put that on, the, that's kind of not reassuring, because I want to know when they get out, you know what I mean, folks? Yeah, I want to get it resolved. I gotta get a restraining order. I don't, don't want to just, like, festering on, you know, and, like, stirring on the back pot, and then you Wait. forget about it, and then it comes up resurfaces, like, it's like a bad tidal wave. It like, really it's is! It's gonna come back in and hit the shore again, you know, like, ugh. And that's why they made alcohol. That's why they made alcohol, my friend. And Serbian guards. All along the watchtower. Alcohol's bad for you. Alright. Speaking of things that are bad for you, what do we got on the uh, douchebag list this week? Oh, let me check. Easy. Michael Sira, if that's how you pronounce it. Pull it up, Marco. I know Polo's not going to do anything. Check this out, Cap. What do we got? What do we got? Calls me an asshole. I get a note in my trailer saying you're not down to earth enough. And it's been going on for a long hold time, on, and, on. and it's not one person, it's everyone. I'm not gonna understand. I'm not gonna come, okay? Uh, behavioral issues are the least of my fucking problems. Okay? Say it. Say no, it to we, me. We say it, it to me. What? You it. say it. No, we get it. We get it. And what is it? Say in English. It's okay. Say in English. Chewy, I need to hear it. I need to hear it to understand. Okay, what is it, Chewy? I mean, I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is the problem? He thinks you're great. Yes. That's what he said. I respect you people. I respect the crew. I respect you, Max. But you're amateurs. Uh, give me... 100% of the crew is amateurs, and if this movie's worth watching, it'll be a fucking miracle! Because it'll be the first time in history that a movie uh, made by amateurs was any good at all. And I, my heart's in it, and you guys step on my heart every day! You know? And they're calling me, and, and I don't know what to, to tell them. And I respect the crew, and I see it on the call sheet every day, the, the funny little trivia things about what I say and all that. And it's not funny. Dude, no, no one, you know, people think you're nice. You know, there's really it's no not... reason to, like, you know, like, you know, if somebody... Uh, we, we, can, we can figure out who, who, uh, who, who wrote uh, this note. Behavioral anyway. issues. When I pay money every month to talk to people about it, I talk to people and they tell me what the issues are, so I don't need to hear it here. It's the least of my fucking problems at this point. And this movie is, uh, you know, you know, I mean, as well as I do, that what, it's... What note do you got? What, 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 are, what, what note are, do I have? I am down to earth! Uh, Who? Yeah, if you want to laugh, then laugh! If it's funny, humans... People laugh when things are funny! Don't hold it in! 
Exactly. <laughs> Funny, right? Ha <laughs> ha. What do you mean? What are you, you can't be pregnant. What are you talking about? Oh, from Superman! I'm pregnant with uh, your baby, what? Yeah, he's no, that's like, stupid. Uh, that doesn't even make sense to me. Mike, Mike, Mike. Okay, yeah. Okay, I saw like two episodes of that. And what is energy? Stuff. Like, you're telling me you say energy well, and then I come and get you energy look on and his say face? no what's energy and like, what do you... Tell me, we're all kind of wondering what it is, so why don't you yeah, tell us? Yeah, they're just sitting in this nice little diner. He's flipping out like a little pansy waist, as he does. No, I mean, don't back down. This is your kid. Like, <laughs> Poor girl, he like, shares the scene with you. Like, you gotta feel bad I'm saying something right now to you. No, is that what Catherine Heigl? What the big Heigl? secret is, is what is it that you want to do? Because we've done 15 days I think that's Catherine Heigl. I've done high cool, energy, though. and I did a she's low. She's right. Yeah, I like some of the that I saw. Yeah, she's okay. But she's not bad. Look at this kid. Yeah, exactly. She seems nice and normal to work with. Like, at least I don't give a shit about her. A good sentence. Who does he think? She's playing both sides, though. Yep. You know what I mean? The direct. Yeah, she's like kissing ass. The good little weasel. Yeah, good little weasel. I guess that's Hollywood, though. I'm not blaming her. You know, it's um, yeah, she's playing the best. Hey, can anyone find who's directing this movie? I like playing our own. And this little prima donna. Look at him. I would love to do that. So you think he's like the handsome A-lister of Hollywood? With his attitude? Walking around in a fucking bathroom. I'm fun editing this. Like, this would be good. The guy said bring up the energy. You don't know so what that means? Say, and then you say... I'm not even here. It really doesn't. It means act, you little bitch. Yeah. You know it means get into it. Fuck this good. guy. Psych yourself Jesus into it, Christ. Michael. Ah, ah. Michael, I'm sorry your career's probably over because I'm not watching your shit. You're a little prima donna's little bitch. He just flip I out. hate that. He just flip out about how much money he has. And just... No more men in this car. Where are the men? Besides Captain and Robin, I haven't met a man yet. They shipped them out. And Joker's not exactly what you would define as manly. Remember man stuff? That's why they should make a... Wayne's World 3. And three-wheelers. Yeah. Or the next Wait. Austin Powers. Austin Powers 4. Never happened. Why? Never happened. Another Austin Powers? They were great. Austin Powers 3 will never happen. You know why? Austin Powers 3 did happen. No. Aust you mean 4. 4. Yeah, Austin Powers 4 is not going to happen. Why? Because Dana Carvey's not going to work. Wait, no. We're talking about Wayne's World? Wayne's World 3 could happen, I think. Wayne's World 3 is not going to happen because Dana Carvey is still upset with Mike Myers. For good reason. You don't know this? Wayne's World 3 is not going to happen? Never! Why? Why? Because Mike Myers, the Dr. Evil character, you know, with the pink... You know, my coke at it. This one? Yeah. That is an impression of Lorne Michaels that Dana Carvey did. And Dana Carvey even did the pinky thing. Really? And the voice. And the voice. And Mike Myers I, went and ran with it. At like SNL. Yeah. I've heard of something like that. That's this. why he's, behind, he's been hiding behind Shrek for the Dana, last 10 years, 12 years, 20 years. Twenty years. The story is true. The story is true. That's why he does Shrek all the time. Because nobody else wants to see your Canadian face. No offense to Canada. I love you. No, we love Canada. Just don't like Mike Myers much. You do that. Plus, a guy with a name like Mike Myers... Makes me think of the movie, you know what I mean? Everyone, yeah. And he's in that movie, Hey, Mom, I Married an Axe Murderer, whatever and the fuck it was called. What's it called? Marco, help me out. What, So I Married an Axe Murderer? Yeah, that was yeah. great. That was, a, that was great. a good movie. But it might have been a documentary. But look, and the, once again, this isn't a Canadian joke, but here, look at this picture. Look at his eyes. Yeah, there's something there. There's, there's, no, there's nothing there. That's the problem. Yeah, that's what I mean. There's like something of nothing there. Creepy stuff. Michael I don't Martin. want to see Austin Powers 4. Leave it alone. I'm not going to say they weren't funny movies. Just leave it alone. It was funny. They, they just that, can't. I, I can't believe they ripped them off, man. They can't leave things alone anymore. You know, they got to make all these stupid sequels and whatnot. And... Well, speaking of Ooh. sequels... Let's... I got one more in me, Robin. How about you? Me too. And speaking of sequels, I think it's... Uh... It's about time we go to our next segment. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? We got uh, we got Father Tom showing us a little. Oh, stuff. Father Tom! All folks, right. If you haven't checked out Father Tom yet, you really should. He's got a bunch of movies. He's reviews. incredibly insightful. He's been sending us all kinds of good stuff. You gotta check it out. I think that's the word of the week, folks. It's true. Father Tom, we owe you, man. He's actually sending us as much as one. Oh, she's shocked. She get worried because like Father Tom's getting a lot of. I know, spots, right? But... Hey, they're you're both supposed... sending us cash and wine. Yeah, this why is, great. is the church sending us money though? Like, don't you're supposed to send them money? Like, a church, a normal church. Why is he sending us money? Like, like... That's true. Are you spending your parishioners' money, Father Tom? Yeah, we didn't even ask. We just kind of like, 
And the wine is like substantial. Like you said, it's like we, we didn't even crack that stuff, but we're gonna crack that next episode and see what happens. Yeah, we should inquire about that next time. <laughs> there might time. be divine intervention or but something. But then, let's go to the uh this is the clip of uh Father Tom's movie preview review of Insidious. Hello friends, hello vagrants, hello migrant workers. The season is upon us, and it's also the season for those wonderful summer movies. Today we're gonna take a look at a new summer movie coming out. Let's check it out. Oh, that looks like a quaint, nice home. Oh, she's in a wheelchair. Is that her caretaker? Well, she looks like she's being nice to her. What's she looking at? Is there something wrong with that girl's hair? Why are you? Why do you look so frightened? Don't be frightened of people in wheelchairs. They're okay. They're just doing their thing. Oh, I want to live there. Look at that fence. And dark. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, god lord bless me, I just cursed, but I just saw something that just scared me. Okay, those are candles. What was that demon demonologist demonology sinner, monkey? Isn't she in Kingpin? That's the woman from Kingpin. She was disgusting in that. It's back. Why is she... Doesn't the door open the other way? Oh, James Wan, I know him, I had lunch with him. Oh, she's a she does parkour. Wow, for at her age doing parkour, that's really good. That's amazing. Oh, Josh, I'll be there. So okay, she's talking to her friend Betty about doing parkour. I know what he's up against. I think her weight's fine. She doesn't. What's the plumber doing? That's not the plumber. Billy, is that Billy? Why is she crying? Why is she surprised? What's he doing? What's he doing? What is why is she crying? Why is Everybody's distressed in this movie. Okay, they're, they're doing a puzzle. Oh, somebody fell. That guy was shaving. He turned into a vampire. Demons come back to Insidious, the Dark Realm. Oh, I don't like dark realms. I got caught there once with a Catholic priest. It was awful. I'm not going to go see this movie. I think the theaters need to shut down. This is awful. Whoa. They're all pretty creepy though, right? Like They are! You know, I feel I feel kinda bad for the guy. Yeah, he has to sit through a lot of creepy stuff. He's gotta listen to like even those like confessions. You can tell he's that. uncomfortable. I bet he's just uncomfortable from the confessions people gave him and the shit they Can say. you imagine the shit people say oh in those books? Can we please? Like you know it's fucked <laughs> up in there. <laughs> How does he not talk I'd to make him? About it? I'd he make must, him run screaming, I tell you. He must just scream at the wall or like talk to somebody <laughs> about that, like a stuffed animal or something. He must tell him like, yo, Tom, you know, Digmold was like trying to have sex with his car last week and like confess to it. Like he must have like Seriously? confessions that are like The in, things that these world. guys like, know? Know? Yeah. It's insane. One guy tried to bury his wallet and then a week later he blamed his neighbor for stealing it. Like people are insane. And then he uh he dug up the wallet, and as it turns out, it, it was his neighbor's wallet. Really? Yeah, he was a psychopath. Yeah, they, they caught huh. him. Yeah, he was in one of uh, Harley's gangs. Oh, one of those? Yeah, one, one of those! Of ones. I don't one know of those why things. he just kept burying wallets. It was like really weird. He thought he could hide them that way or something. Probably drugs involved there, you know what I mean? Yeah, like when you start doing weird yeah, shit. You're like a little, you're little yeah. whacked out on the doobie doobie, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not normal. Like, I understand, like, theft from a store, but, like, when you start burying shit like that, like, that was weird. Seriously. I can't figure something out. I buried a jar of coins once. It doesn't make me a crackhead, but... I was supposed to be Simon, like, solving mysteries, but that's why I've been watching a lot of, like, other stuff, too, like Scooby-Doo or stuff not relevant to my universe that, like, might help me crack codes. Right! That just might help me, you know? Anything interesting? Like with code cracking shows or anything like that? Oh, there's a new Scooby Doo out. I know that. There might be something in there. And there's a lot of code cracking shows out. Yeah, definitely. They're all out there. I heard there's a show that's getting a lot of buzz in England right now. Did you hear about that one? No. I think it's called uh, something like. Um... Hold on, let me see if I can get it right. English Encounters of the Mythical Kind, I think they call it. Oh, one of those, like, documentary shows? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but if you like the mystery shows, maybe check it out. I don't know. Like a mystery documentary. Yeah, they're like they're like segments about different mysteries. 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I like those shows. What else do you like, Robin? Uh, chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Oh. I like, I had a chocolate chip bagel. Oh, that's nice. Captain America yeah. likes chocolate candy and chocolate women. Yeah. Am I still allowed to say that? I think so, because you were frozen. You have, like, some, like, immunity. I got some immunity? I wasn't yeah. meant to be derogatory. No, They're hot. just, like, from an era that's, like, incorrect of everything. So it's fine. We were incorrect about a lot of stuff. Uh, speaking sorry, of you were saying? Sorry. Well, the I'm wine. kind of excited, because tonight, episode 9, we actually have our first return guest ever. We've never had a return guest. Like musical guests, we have a return musical guests. Wait, who's that? Who is it? For their second, um, they came back to play another song for us, which is really cool. We're excited. Oh my God, it's Joey and the Honks. Yeah, Joey and the Honks actually got really good reviews around the first time from all the guests we had. A lot of people like Joey and the Honks. That just goes to show we listen to your comments, folks. Feel glad, free. We're glad you're back, Joey and the Honks. And uh, here's number two. New single, still honking. Still honking. Joey, you still honking? <laughs> They were like friends. Not bad. The one was like a Not dishwasher. Bad. You know, it's kind of comical. What's that? Just the song. It's very original, but it, it makes oh, me the laugh. Song. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were saying the the note said they met as like a dishwasher, and the other guy was like a waiter. Really? Yeah, that's how they. So became. they just started hanging out at work. Yeah, they were making songs, like goofing around. You know, that's how great relationships. You know, you never know when it could happen. You know, that's, that's what's great about it, relationships. It could spark anywhere. It could spark anywhere, folks. Even in a restaurant. In a restaurant, cool. in a field, in cool a bar. Song. Cool song, guys. I like that one. That was good. Uh, still honking, huh? Good, well, good, good. Oh, wait a minute. We got anything else on the agenda? Well, we just had to solve our cliffhanger from last time, which was uh, would Catwoman wrestle oh, the Joker? You know, I think I was. I think I was trying to block it out because I just didn't want to. Yeah, go ahead. You tell him. Yeah. Well, it turns out 36 happened, WrestleMania 36 happened, and WrestleMania and uh, the Catwoman did not wrestle the Joker, so that did not happen. And it looks like this week's cliffhanger is, um, let's see, uh, who's the guy in Stand By Me that's not John Cusack, but in Kiefer Sutherland's gang, the Cobras? 
Ooh, that's a good one! Yeah, who is that guy? Who is that guy? Who is that guy? Just one of the Cobras. Give me so a Cobra. So there was John Cusack. Cobra. There's a bunch of Cobras. The pretty boy. Kiefer. The other guy. He was kind of an ugly mug. There's a bunch of them, though. Give me one of them. Give me one of the Cobra. Cobras. Here, I'll say it again. Who's the guy in Stand By Me that's not John Cusack, but in Kiefer Sutherland's gang, the Cobras? Just give me one of the Cobra guys. Find out next week, folks! Find out next week. I brought him around like kind of like a backdrop kick. You could do that sometimes in the pavement. Just like snap their eyes and then rip their eyes out and be like, <laughs> I like to drag them down to the ground and then cornhole them. That's not right. You shouldn't be doing that, Captain. You get in trouble for that. We'll get flagged for this video for you saying that. Change his own. Hmm. Let's get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> Drag. Why do you keep saying? I just thought it was funny. Not... Musical goat. You still rolling? Damn it, Marco! What? Are you...